Hey everyone, this is Swashbuckling with Code. I'm Jimmy Cleveland, and I commonly get asked what my theme is for VS Code that I'm using, and so I thought I'd make a quick video about it because it's actually a theme that I've created called Everset. Now I'm in the Everset project itself right now, the one I use to publish it, and I have some code examples that I'm gonna walk through real quick to show you syntax really quickly so you can see what it looks like in different languages and in different types of code and frameworks and such like that. But I first wanna give a nod to the inspiration to it and kind of clue you into what it's all about. So there's this art that I really like from this artist. Their name is Mikhail Gustafsson. I probably said that wrong, I'm sure. But you can check out their art. Let me show you. I'll link these in the description as well. But this is their Twitter, their Dribble, some of the stuff they've done, some really, really cool you know, nature work for the most part, and their Instagram. So this is a really popular piece by them. You might have seen it around. Um, and I just really love the way that they, you know, the cool colors starkly contrast the warm colors here, how there's this like quick divide, but it all flows together. So one day I kind of had this inspiration from this. I was like, wouldn't it be cool if there was a theme that focused on having this separation between markup and JavaScript, particularly for React, because that's what I'm doing a lot of work in. And that's what I was doing at the time. So I'm kind of thinking, you know, I could take this idea from this art and have the warmer tones be the JSX, HTML, and all that. And then I could switch to cool tones whenever it's just JavaScript. And that would, you know, help me differentiate things really quickly and all kind of bring it together by using inspiration from this really cool art. So this is what I landed on color scheme wise after a lot of trials and tribulations. It's actually really hard uh, to make a VS Code theme and hit every little notch and make sure there's enough differentiation. I believe it'll probably be too subtle for some people. Um, if it is, or if you uh, are worried more like accessibility wise, there is a really great theme called Night Owl that's kind of similar uh, right here from Sarah Drasner. I recommend checking this one out. Uh, it's really great and it's similar if you're looking for that dark theme. But if you are looking to grab Everset, you can go to the VS Code right here and here it is on the store. Just search up the word there. So back to it. Okay, so it's not just for JavaScript, just so you know, I've got some examples of Go and Rust and all that stuff, because as soon as you make a theme for VS Code, of course, it's gonna have natural uh, syntax highlighting for all the various languages, but it is pretty specialized for JavaScript because that's what I spend the most time in, and particularly um, the world of JSX or anything like that. So going through it real quick, you can see here's the cool tones. You know, I've got some kind of purples for the braces and stuff like that. I tried to subtly differentiate those. Um, there are a couple pop-outs like this for things that I want to sort of stand out a little bit. You can see that over here in React class too. I have a class example here and you can see the this keyword um, I am, you know, highlighting with a yellow pop. So there's a couple times where I've kind of broken the rule of cool. We're using the cool tones just to, you know, get that little bit of highlight, but still be within the theme. And you can see that even like the content inside uh, the the markup here is slightly warmer as where like the strings here are a little bit cooler when in JavaScript. So let's go through a couple more examples real quick. So um, let's say that we are looking at uh, CSS. So here's a quick example. I'm kind of walking through some of the stuff. You can see, you know, it's taking on the, the same warm color for the actual HTML tags here. And then as I come down, you know, it's, it's cooler for the rest of the rules. A class is going to be yellow here, et cetera, et cetera. And then, you know, anything that's kind of stand out like an ID here, um, I've made pop out red. As you probably shouldn't have too many of those anyways, and you might want to spot it really quickly uh, as you come across it in the code. Here's a quick example of Svelte because it also has a sort of markup uh, plus JavaScript feel to it. So you can see the script tags here are warm. In general JavaScript here is cooler tones. Scrolling down here, same thing. Um, you know, you've got your markup, a little splash of cooler here because there's some JavaScript interpolated there. And then you also have a bunch of your general CSS stuff here rendered here. And while I'm here, just so you know, like this is like about the zoom that I usually operate in. But if you want to see it, let's kind of pump it up a little bit more. When I usually record my videos, I do at least three here. So if you want to see the syntax a little bit closer up, we'll do this for a little bit. So let's pop over here to some view. You can see that I've got like the options API here um, and a composition example. So you can see the same thing going on, right? Same thing with compositions here. You can see that, you know, got the tags, got the cool, you get the idea. But I just kind of wanted to show a couple of quick examples. I've got some TypeScript support here, just a couple of quick interfaces to show that. You can see those standing out because they're like a class type or a type. Uh, you know, the generics kind of pop out like that. And for the last JavaScript example, um, I have just have a quick emotion one to show uh, that if you 
uh, are doing, you know, emotion or style components, CSS and JS like that. It also has syntax highlighting here, though you will need the, I believe it's the styled components extension, um, VS Code style components. It's this one right here. That will get you syntax highlighting whenever you're using CSS and JS. So finally over here, there is uh, a quick, couple quick examples of Rust. So you can see, you know, still working fine. That's just the beauty of making themes in, in VS Code. As long as you make them for the symbols, it applies to everything else. You can see it kind of gets um, to be a lot of the cool tones. And I can see that being a bit much for some people. It doesn't bother me too much, but I also don't spend a ton of time working in these languages. So, you know, I haven't specially fine-tuned it nearly as much. Still, you know, it's working fine. And then finally, I'll just show you a Go one real quick. So, you know, here's the same thing here. You can see the string is still cooler colored, generally cool tones, and then a couple of the pop-out warms are just going to be like types or classes or things like that. So that's really it. That's the theme here. You can see uh, I've got the logo here real quick, obviously inspired from that um, awesome art here that I showed previously. So go ahead and try it out if you like it. You know, let me know what you think in the comments. And of course, if you're looking for that a uh, little more contrast and a little more accessible one, I highly recommend Night Owl. You'll see that one all around. It's a great one. But that's it for this video. Uh, I hope to see you in the next one and take care.